Hey everybody, um, I've been getting a lot of questions about uh, how I do the uh, the battlements, and um, for you old timers, um, I'm sure you've seen on a previous video a while back uh, how to do this. So uh, you know, if you don't want to hang around for this, that's cool, no problem. Uh, for the newer people. Um, this will give you guys a kind of a quick how-to on how to do this. Um, what you're seeing right here is a scroll saw. This blade here is a twirled blade, so it cuts in all, during, uh, all directions. Um, and it's a 360 degree cutting blade. And you'll notice my lines are on the inside, not the outside. Uh, the reason for that is so that I can have this flat and I can cut out my shapes. I'll, uh, I'll do some demonstration cuts. So, um, it's, it's going to get real noisy, so uh, you've been warned, you probably want to turn down your volume. I'll just, uh, I'll just give you a quick uh, demonstration cut here so you guys can see what this is, uh, what is entailed in this and then you can get a better appreciation for what a pain in the butt all that is. So uh, here we go. I can't make cuts close to the edge because it, because of the, the top thickness of the blade. Those I actually cut out with a uh, hot wire wand. But along the, uh, the center areas you can do it pretty easily. Also, the width of your battlement top has to be wide enough to go over the top of the saw or physically underneath it. And basically, you just draw your lines and follow your lines. And, and this is very basic. I could have made these much more intricate. Uh, much more stylish, but the fact of the matter is, is the more interesting and the more stylish you make it, um, the longer it's going to take you and the more you're going to suffer from uh, burnout, which I'm sure a lot of my long timers know <laughs> I do suffer from burnout, because when you get involved with massive projects like these, I mean, just the first half of the project is building. There's the whole secondary half of it that involves, you know, painting. And then if you want to do additional detail work on top of that, you know, it just keeps going and going and going. That's one great thing about the hobby is you can see what levels of detail people are comfortable with. And you'll find your own uh, the place where you naturally you're satisfied, where you stop. Because it's like you can keep on going and keep on going and keep on going. But that's a quick example of how to cut these things out. Okay? So I hope that helps uh, helps people out there. And you can also do this with a hot wire foam cutter. You, you don't need to buy yourself a saw. Uh, if you're real serious about doing lots of terrain, um, you might want to invest in, you know, band saw, scroll saw. You can get them uh, for as cheap as a hundred bucks usually, uh, and they go up from there. So, hope this, uh, this video helps you guys out, and I will talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye-bye.